Welcome back to Sun TV. Sun High School is in a period of transition. With former principal Mary Beck's departure at the beginning of the year, the school has done thus far without a principal for the school year. We're here for a special segment where we discuss the candidates as well as the process. The LSE met on Tuesday to decide on the likely winner between the two candidates. The public announcement will likely come on December 8th. Now before we discuss the candidates, let's take a look at what some of the people around Sun are looking for in a principal. Well, what I'm looking forward for our new principal is someone who can be more inclusive to people and meet demands even from the smallest of people. Like freshmen here, there's some freshmen that really have certain demands, but the principal can't really reach out to them due to all the commotion and all the other drama happening in the school. I want a principal who is able to meet with demands from the smallest students, with those who really want to but can't because of how small they are. Um, someone who listens to the students um, but is also unafraid to make the right decision when it comes down to it. Um, someone who is willing to lay down the law but is also kind of flexible which yeah. kind of contradicts myself but I feel like that also even though it makes no sense it makes perfect sense. I want someone who is willing to side with the students um, and just because they are the principal they don't feel that they're they have more power over everyone. As someone who really understands us and you know like yeah and <laughs> yeah just someone who understands us and then you know if we want anything and he understands our needs so mainly it's understanding and yeah uh, honestly um, for them to do what's best for the school that's literally it all right thank you for your very special input uh, I would like to see someone who is creative uh, collaborative a good communicator and has high expectations for the students and staff um, I'm looking for a principal that can preserve sends really amazing culture because right off the bat, even without a uh, change in the principal, Sen is a really amazing community. Um, and I also want a principal that will be able to see Sen's issues and then take action on them. Um, I guess I'm, what I'm really looking forward to in a principal is I really want someone who is headstrong and is doing the best for the school even if it will affect themselves and the, someone who will sacrifice a lot. And I'm also looking for someone who can make a really positive change in the environment, not just academically, but like physically, because the school is falling apart. So uh, for a new principal, I'm looking for someone who is an advocate for our students and an advocate for our teachers and someone who is involved in our community and who understands the needs of our, of our community and one who's going to be present and engaged with, with all things said. All right, thank you for your time. I look forward that they're more welcome to the community. They help excel IB and AP. And make it free, please. Um, that there's more uh, club activities as well. Um, I would like my next principal to be honest, hardworking, and black. Ooh. You heard it here. I think this school can certainly use um, a good leader, a leader who's strong in communication, and certainly one that would like to bring all of the programs together so that there is equity among all of the students. Uh, nice, I guess, I don't know. You want her to be nice? Or him to be nice? Yeah. All right, cool, appreciate it. What were your takeaways from the forum that you can <laughs> talk about? Uh, so as an LSE member, I am legally bound by what I can and cannot say. Um, however, I think it was a good opportunity to see both candidates uh, respond to some questions. Um, I'll be looking forward for, I guess, careness and like communication with the students. Good response. Thank you. What I look for in a principal is someone who is like caring, cares about our not only us as students, but like our staff, our teachers. Someone that if they were to run our school, they could do it efficiently and provide for every student and what we need. 
I'm trying to get somebody to actually, you know, listen to the students, you know. They actually, like, ask the students what they want, like, what they're trying to do before, like, you know, taking steps ahead. Because they'll start problems with us and, like, protests. I don't want nothing like that, you know, last year. Okay, thank you. Um, a principal that cares about us walks around the school trying to, like, have us engaged with the uh, activities and that stuff. And yeah. Like a principal with like a sense of humor, you know, like a, like laugh with the students and like understand us. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so our question for today is you went to the forum, right? Yes, I did. So we're going to ask for your takeaways, what was happening, maybe, you know, the non-confidential stuff. Um, and also if you want to add on kind of like what you're looking forward to for the new principal um, since they're leading not only you, but the students. Sure. So I think my biggest takeaway um, is that I thoroughly enjoyed the fact that it was uh, organized and it was a platform to bring everybody together into community in the and the community to get to know um, both candidates so I particularly enjoyed the session where people from the audience were allowed to ask um, like personal questions of the candidates so I'm looking forward to the new principal coming in to make sure that we are closer as a community a lot of what I've been hearing from students is just there has been a divide amongst students in the three programs so I'm looking for um, to uh, the new principal coming in to make sure that we're um, closer and making sure that all three programs are equitable. Thank you. What are your hopes for the new principal? My hopes are that they come into the school and they really embrace our student body's diversity. I think that's one of our strengths and one of the really great things about working here at Sen High School. I also want them to come organized and come with a consistent structure with their vision for the school and the community visible in the school hallways and throughout the school day. Um, when, a, when our leader is visible to all teachers, staff, and students, I think that is very important and it speaks volumes. Support uh, uh, in our development for sports and after school activities. Uh, strong structure and discipline throughout the school through a combination of restorative justice and consequences. I feel someone that comes with a good vision and a plan and is willing to work, embrace our diversity, and is a no-nonsense nurturer, I think can really uh, help take our excellent school to new heights. You heard it here first? Uh, I'm looking for someone who's cool and uh, don't trip. Somebody who's like a friend. Okay, thank you. Uh, I don't know, I guess to be cool, I don't really care to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm looking in the principal to be respectful and to be kind, yeah. That's all. That's all, all right, thank you. How you doing, Ms. Turner? The question of the day is, what do you look for in a principal? Um, I think a principal should uh, have a love for children, um, a love for people in general, because it's not just children inside the schools, um, that's willing to uh, want to build relationships and you know just spread positive vibes throughout the school um with the staff and everything else there's just the one that wants to see changes and wants to make those changes good vibes only hello bulldogs today i'm here with mr parks all right quick question what do you look for in the next principal what do i look for in the next principal uh, I believe the next principal should be someone who's uh, competent and good at their job, somebody with uh, a plan to develop the school and help push us forward in the right direction. That's a fact, that's a fact. Reporting back. Now, let's meet our candidates. Sun TV attended the recent town hall and we'll share some of what we learned. On November 22nd, Dr. Tyrese Graham, the principal at Helplift High School for three years, and Dr. Nicholas Aquino, the assistant principal at Juarez High School for four years, participated in a town hall meeting to discuss their ideas for San High School's future. Of candidates from the principal role at San answered a set of questions from members of the community. The main object of the meeting was to give students, teachers, and parents the opportunity to hear from the candidates themselves before the final decision is announced on December 8th. 
Um, so um, I've been part of the principal selection committee since the beginning. We've spent countless hours uh, vetting candidates, um, interviewing, going to schools, visiting, calling references. So it's been a whirlwind for sure. We've had late night meetings from all the way till 10 p.m. Um, and so I was really excited to get to this point. It was really exciting. Uh, the candidates had a lot of great things to say. So I think minus our small technical difficulties dealing with people in person and, and at home, um, I think it was a great uh, thing. We took all of our questions from community input. So we didn't pick those on our own the first round of questions. All of them were selected, uh, submitted from our stakeholders and we were uh, we and asked them based on that. So I think overall it was a great uh, evening. We're gonna spend the next couple weeks uh, talking about it and then ultimately uh, in about two weeks, the LSC will make a decision and we'll have our next principal. And I think that tonight went really well and the questions were addressed. Both candidates seemed like really potential good fits for Sen, but I think that there was a stronger, kind of better fit candidate, but that's up to the LSC to decide and we'll see what happens. So we just finished up here at the um, forum for our two principal candidates. It's, I think it's going to be a tough call. We have one candidate who is a veteran principal, but then we have another candidate who, although is an assistant principal currently, is from a school that's more similar to size. So I think that there's going to be some tough decisions to be made. I think likely people are going to be kind of split. But overall, I'm glad that we have these two candidates and we were able to answer, ask them some questions today. Thank you. Bye, Sun TV. Our Sun TV team has been working hard to research these candidates. Each member is going to share one piece of information they learned. Now, one thing I found really impressive about Dr. Arcano was that he actually set a new record for scholarship money at his old school for the class of 2021 a whopping 27.7 million dollars. Something intriguing about Dr. Graham is that he worked with schools and community partners such as IBM, Microsoft, City Colleges of Chicago, and CPS Office of STEM to allow students to earn associate degree and high school diploma within four years at Lakeview High School and Sarah E. Good STEM Academy. Something I found interesting about Dr. Graham was that he implemented new and innovative safety measures at Uplift High School that promoted dialogue instead of disciplinary action, resulting in the lowest number of serious infractions of any high school in our geographical area. One thing I found impressive about Dr. Graham is that he got the teachers to partner with Northwestern. He helped improve the way the STEM program was taught at Lakeview High School. Something interesting I found out about Dr. Aquino is he created a counseling program that earned RAMP status. Something interesting I found out about Dr. Graham is that he is the father of two children. Something interesting I found about Dr. Graham is that he wants to hire staff who are committed to help students get a better education. Interestingly enough, at Benito Juarez High School, Dr. Aquino developed teams to create better learning experience for students. This included rigorous, high-quality curriculum for all students and increased teacher and student trust. It seemed like he strengthened. It seemed like he strengthened collaboration as an assistant principal. I found it interesting how Dr. Aquino was a literacy and leadership coach at many different high schools, which just goes to show how he values students and their education. What I learned about Dr. Graham is that he wants to focus the curriculum on authentic, real-world, and culturally relevant tasks to work on child development. Dr. Graham wants to give all students feedback and focus on student growth. I found that Dr. Graham is really experienced in many different learning environments, which is very impressive. He is very experienced at small and large schools from grades K through 12 and has a track record of improvement. Now, let's hear from you, Sen. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, toots magoots. Are you gonna give me some? Are you gonna give me some bread? <laughs> Dr. Graham wants to play uh, Um, I think. Vlogs uh, so today we have. I know I had to do all that. So our second question for you today. Oh, not yet. My bad. My bad. My bad. You guys wrong? Yes. Bro, what did I write that much? Yeah, you wrote a lot. <laughs> you wrote a lot. Bro, you know you stare right into the camera.